So I wanted to make a video for some of my friends who are newer to Lost Ark and may struggle to understand the rapport system. For a new player, it can definitely be confusing, but I'm going to try and explain how to do it and why you should start working on it sooner rather than later. If you press escape in the middle of the menu, you can see the rapport tab. And when you click on it, this menu comes up. You can go through the different tabs and it will show you all the individual NPCs you can progress rapport with, as well as on the top left, you can see how many songs, emotes, and gifts you have available for that day. This resets obviously at every daily reset. Rapport is basically just building up your relationship and trust with someone, and in Lost Ark, you do this by using songs, emotes, and gifts that the NPC likes. As an example, here's my scrapper doing one of her daily rapports. Things may get kind of confusing here, but try to stay with me. Emotes, songs, and gifts all have a certain amount of points they give towards an NPC. And remember when we looked at the menu, it shows how many gifts, emotes, and songs you can give in a day. This is important because it lets you know that you have to organize who gets your emotes and songs for the day since you're only allowed five to six per day. Six, obviously, if you have the crystalline aura. All of the NPCs in the game go up to at least trusted level, while only two of them can go up to affection level. Even though all the NPCs can go up to trusted, the amount of points required to get to trusted differs. I will leave a link in the description to this site, but Maxtroll has a rapport tool where you can go through all of the NPCs and see how many points it takes to get them to trusted, as well as what emotes, songs, and gifts they like. There are going to be songs or emotes that you don't have, but I would recommend looking into where you can obtain them, and if you don't have to use too many resources or go too far out your way, I recommend getting the emotes or songs, since in the long run, they give the most points the most consistently for rapport. Now that I've gone over what it is and how to level it up and whatnot, I'm going to talk about why it's important. Rapport gives all types of rewards, some more valuable than others, but still good to get them all done nonetheless. If you open the rapport menu that we looked at earlier, you can click on the magnifying glass on the top right of one of the NPCs, and it'll show you what rewards are obtained when you reach certain level thresholds, once you hit amicable, friendly, or trusted. Some of the high priority rapports are people that give collectible items like masterpieces, giant's hearts, omnium stars, etc. A few of those NPCs include Nia for the omnium star, Calvasis for the masterpiece Giant's Hearts and Island Soul, Sasha for the Giant's Heart, Beatrice for the Giant's Heart, Nineveh as well for the Giant's Heart and her card, and even the new South Vern area for the masterpiece. There are tons of other rewards you can aim for in the long run, but please understand that Rapport is not a system designed to be finished in a day or even a week. <laughs> It takes a long time, and the sooner you start, the better off you will be. Another reason people do rapport is for another type of collectible called Ignea Tokens. These tokens are obtained when you 100% complete a continent in the Adventure Tome. In order to complete a continent, one of the things you must finish is getting all of the rapports in said continent up to trusted level. Even though Sasha and the Queen of Vern can go up to affection, you only need to go up to trusted to get the progress for the rapport in the Adventure Tome. Igneas give huge rewards like skill points, an extra Bifrost key, a cool mount, and a purify rune. In the end, Rapport helps a ton with collectibles and will also therefore give a ton of roster XP if you're looking for that. Every time you accept an Ignea token, it gives you 50k roster XP, so that is a fat chunk of roster XP. I want to mention something else that may be easy to ignore. If you press P and go to Skins and Virtues, you can see your Virtues on the bottom left. These play an important role in Rapport because some of the NPCs require you to have a certain amount of points in a specific virtue in order to finish one of their missions or to progress in their dialogue, and it's because of this that a lot of people try to gift bomb NPCs, which is where they stack up a lot of Rapport items, or a lot of one Rapport item, and give them to the NPC all at once. That way they get all the points they need without having to be locked out by a mission, because eventually, if you don't do the missions, it won't let you progress further through the character's rapport. Continuing with the topic of gifts, not all gifts give the same amount of points, obviously, since there are different rarities of gifts, ranging from purple all the way to relic. Starting with purple gifts, these can be very important, because every rapport NPC has purple items they like more than some others, which means they offer more points. They usually have one purple item they like, which gives 450 points, followed by some that give 330 to 360 points, and the rest will usually give around 300. For legendaries, I'm pretty sure every legendary rapport just gives 2,000 points for every rapport NPC. I haven't seen any give more or less than 2,000. And lastly, relic rapport items give 10,000 points. However, there are some NPCs that will have a single relic item they don't like as much, which only gives 5,000. So be careful when it comes to selection chests not to pick the lesser one. With that being said, this is also why rapport item selection chests are important. 
With 10 purple items that you can select, it can be the difference between 3,000 points and 4,500, which can go a long way and save you some time. I will also leave this link in the description, but there's a website called Lost Merchants where you can link what server you play on and set up notifications so whenever a wandering merchant has a legendary rapport for sale, you will get notified. You can then go there in-game and buy it for 80k silver. In the end, I think Rapport is one of the systems in Lost Ark that can seem too complex and it's easy to label it as I'll do this later or maybe I shouldn't work on it. It's probably not even that important. However, the benefits it gives you in the long run are very, very noticeable and very helpful. Therefore, I highly recommend getting this started sooner. Since you're limited to gifts, emote songs per day, every single day that you do it earlier, will help out in the long run. I hope I was able to touch up on everything accurately in this video. And if anything was off or you just want to mention something else that maybe I missed in the comments, don't be afraid to do so so that we can all help each other out. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. It's been your boy Haiga, and I'll see you guys later.